Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to the World Puzzle Federation from 2015 Round 8, which were puzzles created by uh, puzzle creators from the United Kingdom. This is just a killer cage Sudoku by David McNeil worth 40 points. I say just. Killer is probably one of my favorite constraints, so I really enjoy it. Um, so 40 point killer Sudoku. I'm looking forward to giving this one a try. Of course, there will be links below to both this puzzle as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. So you can go check every puzzle they've ever released, including all of the ones that I will do as videos over the next few years, probably, if all goes well. So let's have a look at the killer Sudoku. So rules, we've got normal Sudoku rules. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then the sum of the digits in each cage must equal the value given in the upper left corner of the cage. So these will sum to 10, these will sum to 23. Digits cannot repeat within a cage. So for example, this seven cage could not be filled by going one, one, five. Perfectly valid Sudoku breaks the cage rule. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So let's start with this seven cage. There may be a better place to start, but this is what I'm seeing. So the minimum digits you can put into three different cells are one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Now, this is obvious I'm not going for speed because I can write these digits in. One, two, three um, doesn't sum to seven. It sums to six. So I have to increase one of those digits by one. If I increase either the one or the two by one, I would end up with the duplicate, duplicate digit. The one would adding one to the uh, adding one to one would give me two twos adding one to two would give me two three so I have to increase the three by one and this becomes one two four differently what's what what can I put in here well the maximum three digits are seven eight nine which actually sum to 24 so these must be seven eight nine. 23, the same logic, maximum is 24 with 789. I have to reduce one of these by ones, but the only one I can reduce without causing a duplication. These are 689, and this six is telling me there's no six here, and this is six. Yeah, the only one I could reduce without duplication is the seven, so this becomes 689. This is an 89, making that seven, and this is 89. So there must be an eight in one of those two by Sudoku now, because I can't put eight in any of those without breaking these pointing pairs. But if I put an eight in a 10 cage, these two cells would need to sum to two, and there's no way of making two different Sudoku digits sum to two. So that's not the eight, that's the eight. Excellent. Can I keep going? I don't know. Yes, I can. I can't put a nine in this 21 cage. So the maximum, because that nine sees those two cells, that nine sees that cells. The maximum I can put into these are six, seven, and eight. And six plus seven plus eight is 21. So this is forced. Nine is not in any of those. I can't put a nine in a 10 cage. I can't put a nine in a nine cage. A nine in a 10 cage would mean those need to sum to one. A nine in a nine cage would mean those need to sum to zero. So there's no nine in any of those. Nine is in one of those two. Nine is now in one of these two by Sudoku because I can't put nine in those or there, which means the 17 cage contains a nine and the other two digits must sum to eight. Yeah, maybe I'll look at that later. Um, a 22 cage must have a nine in it because if I don't, it's like this. It's six, seven, eight, which only sums to 21. So the nine must be in one of those two. Oh, this nine is looking up. Resolving the eight, nine. Do some more. So don't, because I was looking at, well, nine can't be here. So where's nine in this box? It, it, yeah, okay. So three and five must be up here because one, two, four. So one, two, three, four, five, and these are six, seven, eight, nine. So three and five must be up here. Now, so three is in one of those two, but I can't put three here because if I put three here, because three can't go in any of those without breaking all of this. If I put three here, these would need to sum to 17, but the only way to do 17 is with eight and nine, and that can't be eight or nine. And if I put, well, the other way of seeing it is if I put eight, nine in here, that would have no fill. So that's not the three, that's the three, which puts three down here, but that seems okay. I can't put a nine, right, here we go. I can't put a nine in this 20 cage because I can't put a nine in either of those cells because of that, and I can't put a nine here. So we know that six, seven, eight sums to 21. So I have to reduce one of those digits by one. Which digit can I reduce? I can re only reduce the six without causing a duplication to a five. This is five, seven, eight. That seven sees 
both of those. So that becomes the seven and the eight here makes that the five, that the eight, which looks up making that the nine and that the eight. This is beautiful, by the way. I love this. These are now one, two, four, and the four looks up saying those are not four. That's the four. This is a one, two. There must be a four in one of those two. I like this. This is good. This digit now has a maximum of six. So these, oh. so this is five or six. If this is five, these are eight, nine, because five plus 17. And if this is six, this is seven, nine. So if this is five, yeah, right. If this is five, these are eight, nine, because if this is five, these need to sum to 17. And it can't put the eight there. So this would be nine and this would be eight. And if this is six, these have to sum to 16, which is only doable with seven, nine, but I can't put the seven there. So this is always nine and this is a seven or an eight. Okay. Trying to see if I can use an entropy trick on that 15 cage. I don't think the entropy trick was popular 10 years ago, but I don't see I can use it yet. Oh, look at this. This is a one, two, three. Minimum digits you can put in a six cage are one, two, three. And it would have given me a lot, a lot faster because the three in this one, two, three, four quadruple must be here and that can't be a three. Actually, it might not be giving me as much as I think, but there must be a one, Right, where's the one and two in this box? The one, two is looking down saying not there and I can't put them in the others. This is a one, two pair. So this is a five or a six. So this is a known triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine. And how do I do this 19 now? If this was eight, nine, this is, mm, well, this isn't a nine. Uh... If this is seven, eight, this is four and it can't be. So there must be a nine in here and it's here. Because if there was, let me go through that again. If there was no nine in this, this would be seven, eight, which would sum to 15. To get to 19, this would have to be a four and I can't do it. So there must be a nine and it must be there. So if this is nine, eight, this is 17 and this is a two. If this is nine, seven, it's 16 and it's a three. So this is all, oh, and it can't be a two. So this is three, three and nine is 12. That's a seven, that's an eight. So these have to sum to 11. If this is a six, this is a five. If this is a five, this is a six. This is a five, six. The five is looking down, making that the six and that the five. This is really neat. This is now a one or a two. This is really nice. I'm enjoying this one a lot. Haven't cracked it yet, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, a lot of the world um, champions, they'll have memorized all of the cage combos and everything. So they'll be able to look at a cage and do eliminations. This is one of the things they'll have practiced. I don't enjoy solving by recitation quite as much. Um, that's why I'll never be a world champion. Um, but um, yeah, but what I, I enjoy what I do, and that's more important, right? The five makes this the six, six and nine sum to 15. So this has to be the seven. So one, two, three, four means this is not the three. In fact, we know what this triple is. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. There's no eight or six up here. So this is the five. There's no five over here and there's no five down here. This is six, eight. Six, eight sums to 14. So that just becomes a four. Excellent. There's no four, yeah, I've already got that. These are one, two, three. So this is a one, two, three triple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, this is a seven. And the only way to make us that work now is with that being a one, two, because those have to sum to three, which means that's the four and that's not the four. These are a now unknown triple. One, two, three, four, and six. 
Now, I'm going to complete this first because this has to be the five that hasn't been placed in the row or the box. But there is something here, which is I can't not put a three in here. I have to put a three in here because otherwise this is four, six, and this would have to be minus one. So there's no three here. But if this was three, six, this would have to be zero because three and six sums to nine. So this is three, four. This is the six. Three, four sums to seven, and that becomes a two. Looking up, making that the one and that the two. This is great. Like, if this puzzle was released today, like, not as a hard puzzle, maybe, but if this puzzle was released today, people would be us, people would be celebrating how really nice the flow is. I hope we can celebrate these puzzles again, because these are really cool. Now, this is 456. And the reason this is 456 is I can't put 8, 7, or 9 in it. And a 15 cage can, and this is an entropy trick, which if you've never seen before may blow your mind, but a 15 cage is either one low digit from 1, 2, 3, a middle digit from 456, and a high digit from 7, 8, 9, or it's 456. And the proof for that, although some people still have trouble wrapping their head around it, is if you were to use two low digits, any two low digits, you can't complete the cage because the maximum you could use would be two and three, and the third digit would need to be 10 or higher. doesn't work. If you were to use any two high digits, then you can't complete the cage because the two lowest high digits would be seven and eight. You're already at 15, and the third digit would need to be zero or lower. If you use any two middle digits, four, five, four, six, or five, six, by definition, because four, five, and six adds to 15, you automatically pick up the third middle digit. So if you use two high digit, any two high digits, you've broken the cage. If you use any two low digits, you've already broken the cage. And if you use any two middle digits, then it must be four, five, six. So the cage must contain either one low, one middle, or one high, or all middle. Because the minute you use any two of the same entropy, low being one, two, three, middle being four, five, six, high being seven, eight, nine, you automatically pick up one of each of the other entropies because you can't use two of the same entropy without it being four, five, six. But I can't put a high digit in here. So it's automatically four, five, six. <laughs> Beautiful. That can't be a six. Those can't be the four. So that's the four. And the six makes that the five and that the six. You don't need to memorize the cage totals for a three cell 15 cage. You can use entropy. Where is eight in this box? I don't know. It's in one of those two. But these can't be one, two, three. These are one, two, three, eight. And I can't make, if this was eight, these would be one, two, three and break that cell. So that can't be the eight. That's the eight. And these are one, two, three. But with this one, two, three, triple three is in here. So that's not the three. Cool. That's now a one, two pair. There's no seven here. What is this? Is this six, eight, and nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, the six makes this the eight, which means this is six, seven. And this is one, two, three. This is a four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a four. So let's, well, let's figure out what these two digits are. Yeah, where's the nine in this row? I can't put it there. That's the nine. This is not the nine. And this is the five that hasn't been put in. Five and four means this is the one, this is the two. That looks across saying there's no one there. So that's the one saying there's no one there. I'm loving this puzzle. Uh, these are one and three. I'm loving this puzzle, by the way. One says there's no one in any of those. So that's the one. This is a triple. Two, four, five. There's no four there. This is possibly my favorite puzzle of this set so far. The two makes that the five, and there's no five in those. The four looks up, making that the three and that the four. And that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy the others. It's just I'm really enjoying this one. One, two, three, four, five. These are six, eight, and nine. But these sum to 17, so they can't be 8 and 9, so there must be a 6 in them. There's no 6 here. And if this was 6, 9, that would be 15, that would be 2. 6, 8 would be 14, and that would have to be 3. So this can't be 6, 8. This is 6, 9, and that is 2.
and this is eight. And those sum to 17. Yes, eight means that this is a six and this is an eight. The two means that's a four. The two looks across, meaning there's no two in any of those. So we get one, three, two, three. The two looks up making this one, two, one, taking one out of both of those. That's a two, three pair, but the three is looking up making that the two and that the three. Nine looks back making that the six and that the nine. This is so cool. Okay, so this triple, four, five, and seven. Now, I can't put 5 and 7 in here because 5 and 7 already sums to 12, so there must be a 4 in here. Or I could have used Sudoku. Uh, these are 2, 5, and 7. There's no 5 there. There's no 7 there. But there is a 4 in here. So if this is 4, 5, this is a 3, and it can't be. So this is 4, 7. 4, 7. 4, 7 sums to 11, which means that's a 1. The two made that a seven. I could have used Sudoku to resolve the cage, actually. So this is five and this is two. And there's no problem with this cage actually giving you information you may not have needed because different solvers solve in different ways. And the whole point about a competition is for people to be able to play to their strengths. I'm playing to my strengths, which is I don't have any. The one looks up making that the three and that the one. The six looks down, making that the seven and that the six. The seven looks down, making that the four and that the seven. And then we've got the final two digits, which are three and five. And the five looks down, putting a three in the corner, making that a five. And that is the solution to the puzzle. Now, it took me 15 minutes to solve a 40-point puzzle. So I didn't do very well at it, but I had a lot of fun with it. And as I said, I, that matters more to me. Um, and I will keep saying that matters more to me every because so many commenters turning turn around and say it doesn't. I've actually deleted a few comments from videos about this who are abusive about my attitude or about my time. I don't like deleting comments. Um, people who disagree with me is fine. People who are abusive, they will get their comments purged. Um, thanks everyone for watching. This has been uh, this has been a fun one. Um, hope you are enjoying it too. And as always. Good luck with your solving.